Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? So, it is our very last day here on this Texas map. We have done a lot of work here, we've done all kinds of different things, we've played all sorts of different games, and this is the situation as we have it now. We've got some of the crop is still left to harvest, we're not doing any more in this series, okay? That's, that's kind of done now, we've, we've spent a long time doing harvesting, as you see the map right now, now what I've done at the moment is I've actually gone and sold all of the mods on here and I did it before I sort of thought about it and set, I, I did say at the end of uh, yesterday's episode that I would tip all of the grain out that was in the um, combines. Uh, I've gone and sold the combines and I completely forgot about that until after I'd sold everything. I don't think that really matters today. We can always do big piles of grain. We've seen big piles of sugar beet and stuff so um, we know that we had a, a mil we, we had a couple million in some of the combines, so there was quite a lot, but because we didn't harvest all of it, we're not going to get kind of an accurate picture. Um, and I don't think that really matters. Um, I mean, I know that some of you are going to be a little bit disappointed with that, but I think overall, the overall effect here is not really going to have a major impact. So yeah, I've sold everything, and I'm actually just going to save the game right now, and then I will take this backup copy, and... I mean, yeah, there are a couple of mods that I've still got going on the map that we're going to be using later, and it's these. The placeables that I put down, they're all gone. Everything else is gone. I will get rid of the Rollins and the Welga at the end of... Um, you know, I will go back into this save and I'll get rid of those. So all you've got, if you do go for this save game, is these items here. You've got a few items scattered around the map, and that's all you've got. If you want to come in and start working this map, by all means, I would love to... I'd love to know that you're going to be doing that and I will start trying to get it ready so that I can upload it to FSUK and then I'll put a link in. It takes about a week for them to process it on there um, and hopefully you will be able to download this um, save game and then you can carry on from here. You need the Texas map obviously and then there won't be any other mods that you need. You can just carry straight on and you can do it however you like. we got an obscene amount of money on here. you got $56 million. So you've got enough to go and buy whatever combines you want, that kind of thing. So I'm hoping that you really do enjoy it. Anyway, on with the show. Today, I have a couple of balers. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this tractor right here. And I'm going to teleport this tractor right down to the shop. Like this. Now, I did say that I was going to do all of this with Heston balers. I'm not going to do all this with Heston balers. I need to do this with several different balers and I didn't I wasn't able to do what I wanted to do completely with a Heston. That's the old one that I had that's just a normal baler. Uh, there is another one that I've got over here that I have altered slightly and we can, if I can find it there we go. That one there that one has a one liter capacity. It's also able to bale at 30 miles an hour and it's a little bit wider than it used to be. It doesn't need to be any faster than 30 miles an hour and you will see why. So we have that one there, and then I've also got these balers here, these four, I've um, altered all of them. So the Challenger is going to be the first one that we use. So if I select and buy that one, yep, and we'll come back out of there. We'll, wor we'll worry about the, the Heston one later. We're going to go and we're going to use that Challenger first. And we're just going to, we're going to run over into the field over there, and we're going to try it out, just sort of see what it's like, how it performs, that sort of thing. Um, it's it's not anything particularly special with the Challenger. I haven't really altered very much. It's the standard capacity on the baler. And we've got... Let me just whiz across here. Standard capacity on the baler. And I haven't um, made it... It's a little bit wider, but it's not very much wider. I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of what you could accomplish. And... What I've actually done, though, is I have increased the speed of the baler. And you can see, going at... It'll go faster and faster and faster. It goes as fast as this tractor can pull it. Um, I don't actually know how fast that is. This tractor will go at 93 miles an hour. And I don't know if it's going to go that full speed. But you can see the bales are sort of going one on top of the other. They're not bailing. It's, it's not bailing particularly evenly. Um, but it's still working, you know, fairly... Pretty much as a baler would work. Because it's kind of as you'd expect it to. It's not quite getting all of the straw either. And that's simply because the pickup doesn't work at this kind of speed. There's only so much straw that it can process at any one time. I'm just going to move over here a little bit so we can get some of the, the like the bigger lumps and see if that makes any difference. Not really. 
is kind of dull, quite frankly. There's, there's nothing particularly interesting about that one. So we'll let that one go over there and we're going to go back and get the next baler. So the next one, I've got a wider pickup on the next one. And I think I left this one at... Yes, I did. I left this one at the same capacity, but I've made the pickup reel on it slightly wider. And we go in here. I must remember to change this back before I go back to baling on Dowland Farm because I've got this fence on Dowland Farm and I really don't want the changes I've put into it to turn up in the time lapse. That's really not going to be good at all. So we're going to buy this one next and we're going to take this one for a little test drive. We'll, I think actually we'll just drive up round and we'll put this one into the field up there because it's a little bit wider than the one that I've just done. Let me back up here and it's not as wide as I've made the Heston and the other two balers, but it is wider than the one that I just used. Actually, I could probably use it in here, and it will grab most of the straw in here. I think that will work out quite nicely. So, yeah, I have made this one a little bit wider. For those of you who know how to alter the width, I've put the start and height at 150. I put the start and height on the other one at, like, 10. Normally, the start and height is, like, 1.5, and then... Um, the width is minus 1.5. Well, then the, that one there that we just tested, I did that one, uh, I think, 10 and minus 10. So it was 20 in total. This one here is 150. The height is at 150 and the width is at minus 150. So it's, it's quite wide. This is 300 wide, which on a standard map is pretty big. So if you look there, you can see it's going all the way across the field and it's putting out a lot of bales. So we'll go a little bit faster. Now, I'm going at 30 miles an hour, and that is as fast as you can. So it's leaving a little bit of straw behind because it's absolutely maxed out on bale, on straw capacity. So it doesn't really need to be any wider or faster than this in order to work effectively. But it's still not particularly impressive, is it? It's, it's, um, it's rather underwhelming. You get a little line of bales that go through, and these are standard size bales, so... Um, you, you could do this and it would sort of work fairly well. Um, yeah, when it's dancing up into the air, it doesn't actually get the bales. But um, yeah, it, again, it's, it's not particularly amazing. It, there's no real wow factor to that one. To be honest, the way that the bales work, the balers work now, there, there's just no wow factor. We're not getting wow factor, not like we had in FS15. I loved the way in FS15 it propelled the baler forward. That was, that was a lot of fun. That was seriously a lot of fun. So maybe one day we will go and we'll do a um, FS15 episode just to go and like revisit if I can remember how to um, alter things on there. Right, so the next baler that we've got is a higher capacity one. I've made this one wider still. It's not that one, no. It's this one. The Massey Ferguson one is 1 million litre capacity bales. So we're going to go on there and I'm going to buy it. Right, the reason that I got rid of all of the mods on the map before I started this was because it's now giving me a solid 60 frames a second. And when we get onto the other bales, when we get onto the um, the low capacity bales, I want to see what we can do before we burn out our total capacity, um, our, our frame rate. That was not part of the master plan. Um, it stopped recording. Well... I'd say it stopped recording. I accidentally pressed the button. I have assigned for doing the recording part way through. Uh, I was supposed to press a, a different button. I was supposed to press that button and then this button so that we could teleport and I pressed the wrong one. Um, entirely my fault. I, I, I hold my hands up. I admit to that. I admit to the fault. Um, just don't expect it to happen too often. Right. Um, not, the, not the faults. The faults are going to happen frequently. Okay. You, you're going to get faults all the time. Um, just just me admitting to them. That's, that's the bit that's not going to happen very often. Okay. I'm, I'm just laying that out there. Just, just so that you're aware. Right. Anyway. One million litres. And this one I've set the, uh, the width and start and height are minus 250. And then both of the others are to on 250. So we've got a width of 500 on this one, which is obscene. It's utterly, utterly obscene. And you can see there it's not gathering up all of the straw properly. It's, it's getting most of it, though. Because it's all going into one bale, it's not actually causing it any serious problems. Um, and, I mean, it's still leaving little bits behind. But, again, this isn't particularly impressive. I mean, I could have done this one at, like, 500 and minus 500, I think. I didn't want to. I mean, if you look, when you turn around the corner, it really struggles with that. But also, I didn't want to just in case it was going to cause any serious issues, like sticking out the side of the map, that sort of thing. 
we have one bale so far. Now, if you really want to do baling on massive scale, I suppose upping the capacity to like a million is certainly going to make your job a awful lot easier, an, an awful lot easier. And it should be able to bale even if we don't own the field. Because remember, we had that issue. Um, you don't own this field. It's coming up all the time. And we just couldn't get the baling to work. Um, you shouldn't have it with a bait, uh, not the baling, the, the drill. We couldn't get the drill to work. But that was because we didn't own the field. But I think baling doesn't do that. As far as I know, it doesn't do that. So, yeah, we've now, we're making bales at 1 million litre capacity. And there is plenty of straw on the map. Um, and it's gathering it up a lot better than it did with the other balers. But at the same time, it's very, very underwhelming. This is just kind of, well, you know, you know that these bales are, are really big. Um... But it's not very impressive. It just doesn't feel impressive, does it? So let's just stop there. We'll unhitch that one. And I don't think... Have, have I got the mod available to un, to undo it? Yes, I do. Right, one million there. If I, if I do that, then I'm going to get stuck in that bale, aren't I? That's what's going to happen. And pick up object and... Oh, we just press N. So I can pick it up and I can throw it because we've got the, the creator thingy on. If I press N on there, it knocks me down through the map. Like that. So, um, that is because it's now got all of the straw sort of piling up. And, yeah, didn't like that, did it? Let's jump back into here and see if we've actually got a pile. Of there we go. There's your pile of straw. So, one million litres of straw. It won't all be in there either. If we go back onto here, that's not going to give us a million. Actually, let's just, just try that a minute. Let's, um, let's just open that, uh, go and bail that one back up a minute. Start there. No. I've already picked up most of it, and it's just not picking it up, is it? Let's go and have a look now and see what the capacity of the bale is now that we've taken some out. 970. 30,000 litres is all it was able to put there in one heap, and that was it. It literally, one million, unless you're dropping it into a feed trough or something like that, it's just not going to work. Um, oh, incidentally, the bales that are on the map, they are all set at 4 million litre capacity. I haven't changed those. Those are still on here at 4 million litres. So, with your save game, you do have 4 million litre bales. You don't have any grass, but you do have 4 million litre bales um, that you can sort of do stuff with. So, you'll be able to at least make the, the mixed feed. And those are down at the shop and so on. So, we now got two more balers that we need to try. Move here, and we're going to jump down to the shop. So, the first one I'm going to do, I'm not going to do the Heston one just yet. I'm going to do the other one because that's the one that I want to do I want the Heston one to be the one that we're using last. Uh, so now we go on to the New Holland. This is the one that's on one litre. And again, I've set these at uh, minus 250 and then 250 for the other two. And that's going to give us a width of 500. If you don't know how to use the Giants editor, the numbers I'm sort of saying to you are going to be absolutely and utterly meaningless and that's fine i understand that um i'm only saying it for those people who are actually able to go and like, alter the numbers and that on it um i just figured it might be useful for you but for those of you who are able to do it and are able to get into the giants editor and sort of fi figure it out those are the nu those numbers are sort of give you a bit of a guideline if you want it so that you've got like a um you can see what you're doing on here don't set the width any more than about 25 on our, uh, 25 and minus 25 and then you'll be able to sort of see what you're doing you've got a good nice wide width on it and it's not going to like it's not go it doesn't go into the the silly width um the the first baler we did like i said that was 10 and minus 10 so you've got a width of 20 on there which sort of give you an idea of what they are but you you go into the giants editor take an any mod drop it into the giants editor and start looking through the numbers and that's that's how I did it. You just sort of figure it out as you go along. I also did have a bit of help from the guys on the FSUK forum. They were absolutely brilliant helping me out with that. I, they really were. It was absolutely fantastic. Right. So the first one. And there you go. Now, the thing with this. This is, again, it's kind of funny. <laughs> All of these bales sort of vomiting out of the top of the baler. They don't come out the back, which is bitterly disappointing to me. But you probably notice that we're leaving a lot of straw behind. And you can see I've got a massive width on this. It's going all the way over to the gorge over there. But it's leaving all this straw behind. That is because it can only process so many bales at once. Now, if I stop like that, and then I just move forward a tiny little bit, it will keep doing this. And because I got the width so wide, the only way to actually gather all the straw is to literally just go at it like this 
really, really slowly, and so you get this huge, great big pile of bales. And there's there's no other way to do it. This is lit you just you just kind of go slow. So this it's very limited on the number of bales that it's going to put into the map. I mean, it's great fun. This is absolutely awesome. One liter these have got. So if I press N, yeah, it's it's, it's pretty much gone. There's there's nothing there, and. I'm not, I'm not getting anything show up on the ground either. And I don't know how many I'd have to do in order to sort of get something show up. Um, but you just press N and there's, there's nothing there. Those bales are empty. So you could, if you wanted to generate straw, get a baler, set the capacity to 1. And then go and create like 700 bales. Um, well, I wouldn't, may, maybe just like 10 bales or 30 bales or whatever it is that you want to do. And then you go into the XML file and you alter the capacity of each one. You've got to do them each one individually, which is why well, I wouldn't recommend doing too many. Because, um, yeah, if I was to now go and start altering the capacity of all of these bales, that would take me a fair while. Okay, and we're down to about 30 frames at the moment. It's probably going to speed up in a second as soon as I stop moving. Let it let it carry uh, build. Oh, no. Nope. We're stopping at 19 frames a second. Okay, I'm going to unhitch that baler. And we're straight back on to 60 frames a second. So it's, it's got these bales on here. I don't know how many it will take to... Um... Okay. <laughs> I wasn't actually expecting that. And we've got a nice stack of bales on top of the baler. Okay, um, I'm going to move this one back down to the shop. There we go. Put that in there. And we're going to get that baler on there. So this is the Heston baler. I've not tested the Heston baler. I tested the others. I did not test the Heston uh, I wanted to see how this one... This could be very underwhelming. Oh, I've also... There's another one that I want to test as well, isn't there? I forgot about that. Let me... Come on. Come on. You can do this. I can do it. I know I can do it. I know I can get that baler on here. There we go. Right, I've got the baler. And I'm going to teleport this one up to the top end of the map. We're going to go to field 15, I think, for this one. So we'll jump up to there. We're going to stop you right there a minute. And we're not going to use you just yet. I'm going to go over to the yard over here back to our main yard get a standard tractor and i'm going to take this standard tractor and i'm going to hook it up to this baler over here now we've got a little bit of straw that has been prepared over near here there's one that i prepared earlier and get back on here and hitch this one on as soon as we've got this one on there we go capacity one on these Change capacity on this baler as well to one. And I've also increased the width. The width before was uh, a fair bit smaller than it is now. So let me unfold that baler. There we go. And we want to go over near the yard. Actually, I could probably start here. But I'd like to do some baling through the yard with this one. I can't remember what the actual width was that I put it on. So let me lower it down. Start it up. We'll soon see how far up it goes. There we go. And this one chucks them out the bottom. So, <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it? Isn't that just brilliant? Even with this tractor, it's still chucking them out. And if I bring this one over here. Round this way. And it's going to start. Because it's grabbing that straw already. And it's converting it all into bales. That is absolutely brilliant. Up over here. So that we're bailing in the yard. We're actually bailing in the yard. This is what I wanted to do. I can bring it up this side. And I'm going to swing round and we're going to bail down through here. Yes. Excellent. But they're all coming out the bottom. That's the bit that I don't like. I don't like the fact that all these bales are coming out the bottom of the baler and not coming out the top. That is the, the disappointment of this. But, I mean, we're still bailing in the yard. We, we do still get to bail in the yard, which is good. That's the one bit that I do like. Um, are we going to get any more on it? We should get like a little stack of bales coming through. And there you have it. Right. I don't really want to do too much on that one. I figured it would just sort of take a quick look at it. Um, we've done some more bales before. So we want this one up here. This is this is the big one. I've not tested this one. I've no idea what this one's going to be like. This is going to be interesting. We're going to run down through here. We've got a lot of straw all lined up ready for us. So let's just start this bad boy up. There we go. I'm going to start bailing at full capacity. And we're off. Now, they're launching them out the top. And that's actually doing a pretty good job of keeping up as well. It's still leaving some straw behind. But it's picking up more straw than I thought it would. 
That is a lot of bales. <laughs> it's, it's, it is, a, it's disappointing. Considering how it performed in FS17, uh, FS15 rather, this is actually disappointing to me. I, I would have preferred it to be a, li a little bit more violent with throwing the bales around. Um, it was a lot better in FS15. And so maybe I will go and do, I, I reckon for the Christmas special, I might go and get a load of bales, uh, uh, several balers like this all lined up in FS15 and we'll see if we can do something with it in there. I'm going to do one litre capacities. I don't know if I've actually got the field that I could... Um, in a, I think I've got a save game that I can use. I'm pretty sure I do. Right, we're down to 16 frames a second now. 15. Okay, well, I'm now going to run. Ooh, 8. I actually paused. I actually stopped. That is brilliant. It's, it's straight back up to 60 as soon as, as soon as you move. So... I think that it kind of stores the bales on the map and then stops with them, so it's, it's not quite like it used to be in FS15. There, you you kind of you went down to one frame a second, and that was kind of it. It was all it was game over then. You weren't doing anything else, not for not for a long time. Um, but this one seems to be working okay, so maybe we could try something else. We do have that bulldozer. I'm pretty sure I've still got that one. We could always go and buy that one, and we can see if we could do something with it. We don't have as much straw available over here. Um, it's, it's still gathering all of the straw and converting it into bales, which is absolutely brilliant. This is it for Texas. And next week, I will be in Australia. Apologies to those of you who wanted me to go on this one a bit longer, but I think it is time to move. We've, we've, we've done a lot with this map. Um, so we're going to move on to the 16 times map in Australia. I've no idea how long we're going to stay there. We'll stay there until we get bored, I suspect. Um, I spoke to Ben just recently and told him that one of the first jobs that we might be doing on that map is taking a big bud and trying to plow up one of the small fields with a small plow and um, I particularly like that idea that several people have given me uh, several people said oh we definitely need to get the big bud and the small you know a single furrow plow I don't think a single furrow plow will actually work I think we're going to need a two or three because I don't think that with the time it turns round, I think it's too narrow a slice for it to um, like register properly. So I think we may need to go for a two or three furrow plow, but that is something that I would like to do. Right, so far, the frame rates haven't dropped very much. We've had the odd spot where it has, but all of these bales on this map and nothing seems to have changed yet. So we'll get a bulldozer up here in a minute and we'll ram that one through them all and see if that makes any difference. So we'll alter the improvement. I suspect it's going to be a little bit difficult for that one to get through them, um, but we'll have to see on that. Um, but yeah, so I was saying this to Ben, and Ben said, you should try doing the biggest field with carrots. Now, there aren't actually very many carrot harvesters, but there are some around. So we will look at that. We'll see if we can do carrots on the Australian map, just to keep Ben happy. Um, you know, he, he did build the map and all, so I suppose really we ought to humour him a little bit. <laughs> and, okay, we're getting a lot more bales here now that we've got like a double width. It is getting, a, it, there are a few more bales dropping out onto here. And we're down to 20 frames a second, which isn't very good. I can see that it is actually starting to lag a little bit, which is great. That's what we wanted. Let me just stop there a minute. And is it going to go back up or is it now actually reaching its limit? I'm going to take the baler off and I'm going to... Oh, look at that. It's, it's really... Kind of, oh, no, it's gone straight back up to 60. I am very impressed. It doesn't seem to be rendering them or something. Um... Let me move back through here and we go to our statistics. I know a lot of you wanted to see this, so what do we got? Um, created bales this session, 7,242 bales. Uh, 7,700 altogether. Fertilizer usage, 754,000. Seed usage is 808,000. Fuel usage, 2.5,000. Driving distance, 510. I think that's in miles, so 510 miles. Harvesting time... 38 minutes is that it harvesting time 38 minutes i'm sure we've we've done more than that we've definitely done more than that um harvested hectares 1240 fertilizes 1100 sown hectares 1600 cultivated 35 hectares that was the zeta did all of that by the way with 21 eggs uh worked hectares total 4800 um time plated plated played oh it's hours it's got to be hours isn't it 39 hours we played on this map that's not bad actually so 38 hours of harvesting time in total 
It doesn't seem like very much, does it? Worked time total, 78 hours. So, yeah, some of those are a little underwhelming. I mean, 7,000 bales. Doesn't seem like a lot, does it? i got to be honest, I thought this would be different. I thought that we'd have sort of more reaction or something like that. Because, yeah, it's... It's not quite as drastic as I thought. I mean, I've put I've thousands of bales are now on here, and you can't do anything with them. They're all one litre, so you're not really going to get a lot out of these. Tell you what, let's just take a quick look in the shop and see if we've still got that um, construction. Yes, we do. Let's go and buy that one. I think it was, was it basic or was it tuned? Um, basic, tuned, and beast mode. What did I do? Did I change any of these? You know, I honestly don't remember. They're all looking about the same. Let's go basic. We'll buy that one for a minute. And if that's not the one, then we'll go for another one. We cycle through our machinery here. Eh, there we go. And start you up. No, that one says 86. That says 86. Right, okay. So we'll try buying a different one. That was basic. So let's try tuned. And we'll try buying beast mode as well. Because I know that I did make some alterations. But whether I got rid of those alterations oh 500 2060 okay i did i did make some changes this one's got 2000 miles an hour on it um whether that's going to work or not i don't know but uh, we'll soon find out so i want to go there and i'm going to drop this one up here in field 15 roughly there i think that's not far away from where we were working okay and we do that and start this bad boy up now you can't actually use, you can go allow or create fields, but it doesn't actually plow. You've got the, the front bit, and I don't think it allows you, it doesn't change anything. You can't use the thing on the back, it does, just doesn't work. I press V, B, and yeah, nothing. So we, it's, it's very noisy. We will lower the front down so that we can push into those bales, get rid of the help. Oh, it's actually, it's pushing up the straw. Oh, I see, it does actually push the straw up. So we, could, we can do that. I was going to make that wider, wasn't I? We'll do this in Australia. We'll try pushing the... We'll try pushing up, like, straw and stuff like that and see if we can then, like, push it up to a huge, great big mound and then lift it and jump over it like that. Oh, easy. Easy. No, stop, stop, stop. Okay, brakes don't work very well on this thing. This thing is not known for braking power. If I... Yeah, if I made the, the dozer blade wider... Not physically, because I don't really know how to do that. But uh, just, like, make the graphic wider. Let me bring the map up so I can see where I'm going. Ah, there we go. That's what I want. So we put this one down. And we'll go plowing into these bales we've made. And we'll see if we can do anything now. Go on. Stay on fight. Stay on target. Stay on target. No, 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 no. Okay, that's the end of that. Um, <laughs> uh, we need to try this again. We go like that. And pretty much where we are just want to be the right way up oh there's the tractor Let me, uh, the the blades down and that's it let's go let's try beast moding this all the way through i don't think it's going to do a lot so yeah i mean it, this was fun but quite frankly it was a little bit underwhelming it did not have the kind of performance drops and impacts that i was hoping for I was hoping that we would get choked up because when I did this on FS15, I went down to one frame a second. It was the last one in the Higher Hills um, series. It was, there was one there. I think I called it Bale Cannon or something like that. But you look down through the playlists to Higher Hills, and it was the final episode in Higher Hills. That episode there, I had a small baler, and it was propelling us across the map. It was literally... It was like... We were. Uh, um, it was like using rocket fuel out of the out of the baler. It was absolutely brilliant. So much fun. It really was. Okay, that's that's just not doing anything, is it? It's just. Yeah, it's disappointing. I'm quite frankly, I am disappointed with that. Um, at least we've managed to tip this tractor the right way up. Uh, yeah, if you want to see that, then go there. I'll probably do that as a Christmas special. I think we'll go back to FS15 and we'll turn some bales into actual bale cannons. And it does at least works with the Welga baler. I know it works with that one. So we'll see what we can do with it and whether we can have a bit more fun with that. But this one, this was okay, but it was, quite frankly, I feel underwhelming. 
If you enjoyed the episode, please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. <laughs> there is an awful lot of bales here. This is it's quite impressive, the sheer number of bales that we've got all the way down this line. It is, I, I do like the fact that we've got some... Oh, that actually um, caused a frame rate drop. It's only when you're actually stuck in the bales and they're all moving all at once that it does anything. And then as soon as you get out of them or you stop moving, it, it kind of stops it again. Um, we're stuck. That's, that's actually caused... I think it, it... I think it... Yes, what it does, it's, it's the physics. They lock all the bales in place. And then when they're not moving, it's, it's not affecting the performance of the computers. They, it's really good the way that they've improved this in FS17. But at the same time, it's also disappointing. Yeah, I'm now trying to move 300 bales all at once. And that's what's causing its frame rate drop. Anyway, that is all I've got time for. So, until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.